Dang, we've been here for a long time. <sighs> yeah, we have, and I really just want to know what's going on with me. The doctor gave me this pamphlet, and she thinks this may be able to help treat mm -hmm. what I'm feeling, but I don't know what any of this stuff means. Let me see this pamphlet. Yeah, I think we should just Google it. Because the doctor is, it? it's been 20 minutes. The doctor has not seen us yet. Let's okay. just Google it. Miss Abernathy, may I please enter? Yes, come in. Hey, hi, Miss Abernathy. How are you today? I'm doing pretty well. So, Dr. Smith is actually away with another patient right now handling an emergency. He's sitting in here to see if you have any additional questions. I actually do have some questions. Um, he gave me this pamphlet, but I'm not really understanding what Megastrol is. And I was wondering if you can just explain a little bit more about it. Well, yes, I'm no doctor, but I can definitely um, answer any additional questions that you may have. Megastrol, um, Megase, is actually used to treat the loss of appetite and weight loss because of the disease. Um, it's also used to treat um, advanced breast cancer. So the side effects of this drug is weight gain, insomnia, diarrhea, skin rash, and impotence and un, uh, decreased sexual desire and gas. Um, the adverse effects... Uh, what what is what's an adverse effect? Yeah, the adverse effects are the negative effects that can happen while taking this drug. So the um, adverse effects are nausea, vomiting, spotting, edema, weight loss or weight gain, depression, and GI um, irritation. So the um, contraindications of this drug is hypersensitivity. It's undiagnosed vaginal bleeding. Um, alcohol should be avoided in patients with known intolerance and the drug indications of this drug is treatment of anorexia weight loss severe weight and muscle loss associated with aids palliative treatment of endometrial disease so what about somebody that's trying to conceive so if you're trying to conceive it's actually best if you wait until the um, therapy or treatment is because um harm can happen to the fetus and undesired um, effects um, things can happen um, while breastfeeding or um, being pregnant. So it's just basically best to wait after the treatment is finished. And then you can come back to your doctor and they can think about conceiving. Okay. So uh, special considerations of this drug is um, it may be administered with meals if GI irritation becomes a problem. So you're going to shake it before administering. And women of childbearing age should use birth control um, while taking this medication. So um, in order to begin therapy, you're going to come in, you're going to show proof of a negative pregnancy test. Patient teaching is you're going to take this drug as directed. You're not going to skip any doses. If you do skip a dose, you can take it um, immediately, but not right before your next dose. When you want to wing off this drug, you're going to decrease doses before discontinuing. You're going to report any unusual bleeding. Um, notify your PCP immediately if pregnancy is planned, suspected, or if breastfeeding. And another thing is hair loss. So I know a lot of patients, um, their biggest concern is hair loss with this drug, which is totally fine. It's understandable. So with this um, hair loss, we have support programs, and we also have therapy that can help assist you um, to make you feel more comfortable with this procedure. Um, Ms. Abernathy, do you have any questions pertaining to the information I just gave you? That sounds great. Um, I'll just follow up with him if I have any other questions, and I really do appreciate you taking the time to explain this medication to me. Okay, well, like I previously stated, uh, Dr. Smith will be here shortly when he's available, okay? Thank you. Alrighty.